no advertising budget, nowhere to go, then do this instead. In today's video, I will give you an option if you don't have an advertising budget for whatever reason. Maybe you moved into a new area. Maybe you don't have the support now. Maybe you just started out. It doesn't matter. There is one thing you could and should do so that you get known in your market. Market. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block, and we make social media marketing simplified, taking complicated strategies and converting them into simple, easy, understandable step-by-step -step action so that you can use them in your business. And today we are talking about what you can do when you just started out as an agent, if you're new to an area or for whatever reason you have no advertising budget, this solution is for you. And if you need guidance and there is no sign up, I will send it to you. No name required, no email. So we have a guide for you, a sheet sheet you can use so that you can implement what we are showing you you today. So if you don't have any advertising budget, then you definitely should do videos. Best of it are live videos. And there is no question about it. In 2022, you should do at least one video a week. And if you don't, I am really, really concerned about because I don't know how you want to move forward, especially now that we are in 2022 and we are almost always digital and online available. So, and what you can do to, even if you have no budget, your live videos or your videos is the biggest tool in your toolbox so that you can use them to get you out in the market. And this is for several reasons. You have videos, especially, yeah, let's, let's say the live videos, because live videos allow you to connect with your audience. They can see you, they can ask you questions, they can engage with you. And that's what you should have in mind. Social media is not only or is not geared for lead generation. Social media is out there so that you can connect with your audience and start a conversation. With videos, it is very easy to start a conversation where you now, through videos or live videos, you can best connect to live videos with your audience because they can ask you live questions and you can answer live their answer. Uh, their, yeah, give life an answer to their question. So if we have looked at the new data that just was coming in through Hootsuite, where we are seeing social media interaction and presence, how people are using this, and I'm reading up from the stats I just got this morning, where um, when we are talking about Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and TikTok. So we know TikTok and YouTube is video. So don't speak about not doing videos and then saying you uh, want to be on YouTube. YouTube requires videos. TikTok requires videos. Yes, there are ways around not to be personal in videos, but we would recommend you are the one who should be on video so that people can connect with you and see how you are, how you speak, if there is a level of connection with you. So Instagram has 1.5 billion BBB with a B-boy billion users. They are the fourth, fourth most popular platform out there and 30% of all internet users use Instagram. Surprise, surprise. Facebook with 3 billion, like a B, billion users are still the biggest platform out there on social media. 58.8% of internet users use Facebook and 
this is still us of the data hood suite and i will talk a little bit down the road i will come back and uh, go into the data a little bit more where most facebook is still the most used platform of all internet users so don't get all distracted with the noise the data shows facebook is still the biggest platform out there youtube people spend the most time on youtube but it is also most popular popular but it is not the biggest platform because uh, we are going onto YouTube and watching videos most of the time. There will be music they are searching for, for DJs. So that's what it is uh, used the most. And then we have TikTok, where 20% out of all Americans use uh, TikTok as an adult. So as you can see, Facebook is still the biggest platform out there, despite some noise out there. So imagine 3 billion users. And certainly you should do videos on, and that is a good question, Michelle, live videos from your business page. It depends. Let me tell you, it depends. If you are having a business page already set up, you know how to use a business page, certainly you should use your business page because especially when you have advertising on the back end in mind, you definitely need to do it from your business page. You can share it then from your business page onto your personal profile because it will give you the data as well. But if you are starting out, never have a business page and don't know really how you should start with videos, then definitely start doing them on your personal profile and get used to it, how Facebook works, how you get your Facebook lives to work so that you feel comfortable on it. If you are planning on professional advertising, advertising for your business, certainly then you should try to move over, but also Facebook gives us, and not everybody is rolled into it, where you now can convert your personal page into a, um, a professional page where you have almost the same behind the scene tools where you now can use those on your personal page and also get all the insights we are getting on a business page. Me as a special, um, especially professional advertiser, we would always recommend do videos from your business page and then share them over to your personal page or if you have certainly if you have already your professional profile then certainly do them over there so it for me it's all about the data that's why i would stay on a business page if you never want to do professional advertising or advertising at all absolutely you can do it on your personal profile, but keep in mind that you cannot direct sell on your personal profile because it is still a violation with Facebook. They are a little bit more easier now through the professional page you can convert into it, but uh, you should do it very, very delicate. So again, best would be your business page and then share it over to your personal page and then you can get the data up there if you don't do it on your personal page but be very careful and um admire to the rules of facebook no uh, selling on your business on your personal profile no direct selling no no direct call to action so that's where i would be very very careful but live videos give you a chance to stay in front of your audience. So on your business page, you can, even if you don't pay on advertising, you are able to build up your audiences in the background. You cannot do it yet on your personal page. Also with your personal page, you cannot build 
custom audiences. So when you are doing videos, now you can build audiences, custom audiences on your business page. And that's why it's important to go with your business page because it gives you much, much, much more tools. So where you now can st start building audiences. You can build your audience on the video view, on the time, on the percentage. So it goes deep, deep in there. When you do videos, you could do it on, on a certain areas where you do videos for certain communities. And then you can put all the views, viewers into those communities. So Facebook gives you those options. And especially with videos, you can connect with your audience, you can build your audiences, you also build a presence in your market. And nothing is easier with presence in your market when you do the videos. Now you will see as a professional, you can give professional guidance, you also will be seen as an authority and you can build your authority in your community, in your market for you as a real estate professional. You can guide at the same time your audience. You can give away guides. You can give away cheat sheets. By the way, if you don't know where to start with videos and need a checklist, you can type in below day by day and we will send you our checklist. You can follow so that you know what to do before you start with videos, during the videos, and after the videos, so you get the most out of your videos. There, it's no sign up, it's nothing. Just type below, type in day by day, and we will message you the uh, checklist so that you can stop. Nothing is required, we just give it away. And you can do the same thing. So when you have the live videos or videos in general, give something away so that people can connect with you. Don't ask for an email, just build that trust first. And now you can connect and start a conversation right on Facebook with your videos and without any marketing budget. That was my tip for you today so that you can start without a marketing budget so that you can start getting your people get to know you get to like you and get you trust you so you will build recognition in your market they will see you out as an authority and then they will come back and will get in, in contact with you then you maybe have something valuable that is the main focus we are focusing on to build connection and start a conversation we are not on facebook for lead generation if you are on facebook for lead generation most likely you are doing it the i don't want to say the wrong way but it is not the most liked way so start a connection start conversation and then everything else will follow Live videos are the most uh, credible because people can connect with you. And if you are still want to try, start out with produced videos where you take the video and then upload them into uh, Facebook or on any social media platform. But live videos will be the best bet you have, especially when you have no advertising budget out there. So let's answer a few questions. Absolutely, Michelle. Yes, day in, day out. We will send you the checklist for the video. So if you didn't hear me before, type down below day by day and you will get our checklist so that you can go making your videos live. And that starts with the day before or some days before, during the day, during the live video and after your video. So we will send you the checklist, no sign up required. We message it to you and then we, you can have the checklist and follow along. It informs our people, right, that you are online. Yes, as well. That is a good point, um, Michelle. When you are going live and you are, 
it's not only when you are going live, you had two options. You can schedule a live event, which will work in your favor because now Facebook will, especially Facebook will search for people and will put that event in front of people so they can plan to get with you live. And then when you are getting live, and that is a good point, Michelle, then people will get informed that you are live and then you can join. Just last week, Facebook also made the option available in Live Producer, where you are now can put your live videos into your stories. So that is very new. It's maybe one or two weeks. So I don't remember one day I wanted to go live and suddenly I could go live with my story. So it was displayed in stories, gives you even more reach and more viewers. Rudy, yes, absolutely. I will send it to you right after we are done. And uh, I hope, especially when you have no marketing budget, if you are not doing videos, I'm worried about you because that is the future. We are moving quickly now. So you definitely should look into doing videos, learning videos. And when you want our checklist for doing videos before, after, and during, we will send you the checklist right away without asking for anything. Just type below day by day and we will send it your way. So that is my tip for today, especially when you have no advertising budget, utilize videos that bring you good reach, broader reach and connection with your audience, building your audiences and also connecting with your consumer. That is as far I go today. Again, if you are coming in later after this live, put in day by day. And if you need our checklist, we will not ask you for any email or ask you for anything. Just let us know you want it, put down day by day. And then I will get you our checklist, what you can do before, during, and after your videos you are putting out onto social media. Otherwise, thanks for taking the time with me here today. Thank you for all the great questions, because if you have the question, somebody else probably will have questions as, as well. And so we can help each other. Otherwise, I will be here same time, same day, same platform next week. Until then, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.